So since I, since I spent a lot of time in the bathroom, you know, um, on the toilet and whatnot, because I eat really healthy, so, you know, that goes. Anyway, I thought of something else that I wanted to tell you guys that ties in to everything that I've been saying, okay? Now, I told you when my cousin and her son came, the son was a sweetheart, I'd never met him before, my cousin was disrespectful towards me from the moment she walked in the door, okay? in all kinds of subtle ways that would go over my mom's head, but that my friend instantly saw, okay? So, that means I'm not exaggerating, I'm not crazy, et cetera, et cetera, okay? And I bit my tongue, I bit my tongue, okay? When her son, the day her son clogged our toilet on the weekend, on Saturday, and after hours, okay? They were still going to be here Sunday and Monday. Clogged our toilet on the weekend after hours. I was napping in here, okay? Um, I think I didn't feel good or something. I don't know. I was napping in here anyway. And my mom didn't wake me up, which she should have done, because we had two plungers that were out in plain sight, and my mom didn't know where they were, didn't wake me up, so they went, you know, her. she went and bought a plunger. All right. But anyway... I woke up to the fiasco with the kid, her kid, trying to plunge it or whatever. What's going on? He clogged the toilet. Okay. It's after hours on the weekend. So, I didn't know whether or not we'd be able to reach our plumber. I know if we called anybody after hours on the weekend, our plumber gives us discounts. Our plumber is a lo in local and, and always will say, I gave you a break, this, that, or whatever. It's going to be a lot of money to have someone come here on an emergency basis after hours on the weekend. It's not an emergency. So I proceeded to say, well, you know, we'll try to reach our plumber, but if we can't, it's, we're not just going to call anybody. It's not an emergency. I'm not staying anywhere where there's no working toilet. I'll go to a hotel. That's what she did. Minus the little, whatever. Okay, so. I got a hold of, of our plumber. I explained, he's like, did you call anyone else? I'm like, I don't know who else to call. So he came, but of course he's going to charge more because, you know, but he still, I know he charged way less than some stranger would have charged. I just know that instinctively, okay? And it's not, a clogged toilet's not an emergency. It does suck, but it's not an emergency. But to her, I'll go to a hotel. Okay, whatever. So, our toilet's relatively brand new, had never been clogged before, and I was just thinking about this because I put a lot of toilet paper in it, it doesn't get clogged. So, she proceeded to, she explained to me, you know, because I'm like, well, it's a new toilet, We've it's never clogged before. Well, he has big poops, this has happened before. Okay, so, I feel like I should have a right to say, okay, our plumber is going to come, but it's going to, you know, it's not going to be cheap or whatever. I want to, it wasn't that, it was want to be $100. It's $100 out of my mom's pocket. Okay, it's not like she was going to offer to pay for it. Even though her son clogged the toilet and my friend Karen said, you know, he, she should have paid it. Her top clog. But whatever, I didn't expect her to pay for it. But, it's, she's not going to offer to even pay for it, okay? All right, that's fine, whatever. You know? All I said was this, makes sense. They were here another two days. She's proceeded to tell me, I'm using my deductor, she's proceeded to tell me her sign has big poops. I don't want a repeat of it, okay? All that I want, said, well, I started to say to him, you know, or to them together, well, just, you know, we're going to have our plumber here, whatever, but, but, you know, if you know that you have these kind of poops, flush the poop first, and then put the toilet paper in. I've heard that's what you do, right? Because my mom and I have never had any problems with this toilet. It's a relatively new toilet. It's only from a couple years ago or something. That's new. It's a brand new toilet, okay? It's not his fault. She got all agitated with me. She was already agitated when I was treating it like it's not an emergency. A flood in the bathroom, a flood in the kitchen is an emergency. A clogged toilet is a nuisance. It's not an emergency where my mom should have to pay a lot, a lot of money if we can't reach our plumber who, get, who will give us a break and not take advantage. 
But to her, we need to pay, get somebody here after I was on the weekend, doesn't matter who we call, doesn't matter what we pay, okay? And of course, I bit my tongue, bit my tongue, but then she snapped at me for simply, logically, since they're going to be here another two days, she said that this has happened to her son in other places, okay? Then, let's be proactive. If you go poop, poo flush, you know, if you go poop, flush the poop, and then put toilet paper in. She jumped down my throat for saying that. So, I'm going to... What is the word? Expostulate? Whatever. I'm just saying. Always me in chains. My mom was upset that I was saying anything. My mom was willing to pay whatever to appease her. To appease her niece. You understand? Whatever. But I knew it would cost a lot of money if we get a stranger here after I was on the weekend. It's an emergency. It's not really, you know, they could charge whatever. And my mom, of course, ever, the, you know, I have to bite my tongue every time. And what I'm going to say now is always in chains, okay? I can't say anything to my mom my mentally ill elderly mother about anything lest I upset her. Can't even say anything to her family members who are treating me disrespectfully lest I upset her. Okay? So basically, constantly, constantly in chains. You get it? I had every right to say to my cousin and her son together there, well, you know, all right, we're going to get our plant, whatever, but, but from now till you leave, just let's, let's, it's not him. It's not his fault. She was all, I wasn't saying it's his fault or he did it on purpose. I'm saying we don't want a friggin' repeat of it. You know, let's try to prevent it because there's no fucking way it was just his poop that's large that clogged our toilet. It had to have been toilet paper too. And I know it was. Okay? It's not his fault. But again, my mom was all agitated the whole weekend. I can't even, she was all upset when, when that final thing, I bit my tongue with my cousin all weekend, I gave you guys examples, that final thing where she's basically acting like I'm a bitch or I'm just thinking I'm selfish because I won't let my mom cut her pills in half because I will get in trouble if she does that and to my cousin's like she's over medicated, why can't she just do that because she is in a different situation than maybe you or I would be. She is under the chains. I'm, we're all under scrutiny from the elder services, from DMH, from whoever. She can't just cut her pills in half, you friggin' ignorant bitch. You know? But again, I merely wanted to gently explain that to my cousin in private, not in front of my mom. Because my mom was like, when my cousin said that the day before, it's like, yeah, why can't I do that? Because my mom has asked me why she can't do that. You get it? Forever, forever in chains, me. Again, can't say one goddamn thing to my mom, lest I upset her. And then her, I can't say one goddamn thing to any of her family members who she, you know, worships the ground they walk on, lest I upset her. So basically, I just don't matter at all, okay? So I just gave you guys a perfect example, but you have to understand, when I told my mom that final thing, when my cousin, I just wanted to very quickly explain to her why, why my mom can't just cut her pills in half, why my cousin thinks this, just why not, and I'm being selfish to not let her, if she's over Medicaid, I sh you know what I mean, and she doesn't get it. My friend said instantly, she doesn't get it, you'll get in trouble. But she was acting like I'm selfish, and she's, my mom is like a child. And when she first said that, my mom's thinking the same thing. My mom's asked me, why can't I just do it, you know? I'm assigned to be her caregiver, not allowed to say a goddamn thing to her. And if her family treats me in with disrespect, not allowed to say a goddamn thing to them. In the end, I wasn't telling her to not like her niece. I was saying, Mom, this is what's happened, X, Y, and Z. She didn't get it. It went over her head. It just upset her. She's really nice. Why don't you like her? I don't understand why you don't like so. Oh, my God. She's always in chains. You understand? Any of you who are smart, any of you don't have ulterior motives in that you hate my fucking guts, it doesn't matter what I say, you will never think I'm anything but wrong in this existence. Have to see this. Forever in chains. I can't even dislike one of my mom's family members who treat me dis who treats me disrespectfully, lest I upset my mentally ill elderly mom. You get it? It's a bunch of hooey, but that's how it was. That whole weekend was stressful for my mom, even though she was here, and the thing with the toilet, and whatever. And then in the end, I wouldn't talk to my cousin, and my mom was upset about that. You know? I snubbed her, because I wanted to just explain to her, 
I don't need to know about that. It's none of my business. I said, but you said this, and I just want you to, to, to uh, you to understand. I said I don't want to talk. I don't need to hear it. She said she talked to me. Not screaming, but just like that. I said I don't want to hear it. Like, I'm a freaking whatever. Like, she's not a guest in my home. But again, we go back to the same thing. Maybe it just was never my home. It's always my mom's home because I don't fucking matter. Period. You know? She said it to me just like that, and as you guys know, I came in, I was, I slunk away, came in here, and was so frustrated that I was clawing at my own skin. Because the way she talked to me, she's a guest in my home, I live here, okay? And, and I, and she said, said something ignorant, I don't want her to leave, you know, thinking I'm a selfish bitch, because I won't let my mom, my, my clearly over-medicated mom who's fallen and whatnot, just cut her meds in half. She has to go through her fucking, you know? We are all under scrutiny here. And Auntie knows that she can't, my mom can't do that, but my cousin did not, and she looked at me when she first said it. When I said, because I'll get in trouble, I piped up. I couldn't believe she was saying it. Okay, this was like the day, the, that, the day before or whatever that... And she looked at me like, you selfish bitch. She didn't say it, but she gave me a look. You know? And she also lied to me that night because I said, I'm sure you guys talked at the beach because they went to the beach. This was Saturday, okay? Um, about what had happened Friday, this was ha you know, and whatever, the, 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 but all kinds of things happened that I told you guys about at the time. We didn't talk about your mom's meds. I asked my mom later, did you talk about your meds? And she's like, yeah. So it was, my cousin lied to me. Basically, she wouldn't allow me to explain why she was being ignorant and thinking my mom could just cut her pills in half on her own without going through the proper channels, which is her nurse practitioner, psychiatrist, and why I'm not being a selfish bitch when I say I will get in trouble, okay? You get it, what I'm saying here, people? You have to see that it just always, always in chains. This isn't about me, go I was not verbally abused, like going around and you're a bitch and you're, no. When my mom had these breakdowns, yeah, she, I was frustrated to the point and I'm human, okay? And she won't even let me sleep. It's just like, Mom, leave me alone. Do what you want. Stay up all night. Just leave me alone. Please, I need to sleep. How am I going to function? You know? That whole thing, right? It's just, basically, it's just if I didn't exist, everything would be fine. You stress your mother out. You upset your mom. Yeah, and so much of that in the very beginning was all the conflict between you and me, Auntie. And when I found out that you fucking, you forced her to lie to me about that case money, etc. And she was all upset and she tells, cries to a friggin' mental hospital guy and a total stranger. Because she obviously hated that she was, had to keep it from me and I didn't suspect anything, I swear. Why would I? I never thought they'd get a penny. Why would I ever think it was way, way more than Auntie forced my mom, okay? She comes home, I have a confession to make. We got way more than the kids. But in this, I'm, and, sh and I, I talked to this guy, he's going to help, uh, you know, he's going to help me fight, auntie, and then, you know what I mean? I had never suspected anything. But it's like I said, auntie's done all this for my mom, but she owns her. And I can give you other examples, but I won't. Not at this time, anyway. Where my mom is, where where Auntie said something to my mom, like you know, my mom wants to do something that Auntie doesn't, you know, wants. And when I guess blood's not thick, you know, she was sarcastic. Basically, my mom, Auntie, because she's done so much for my mom, she own, my Auntie owns my mom, and that is how my mom felt. And you know, what does it tell you? She goes and cries to a friggin' stranger in a mental hospital. Okay, I was in chains constantly. I can't even say something, you know, lest I upset my mom. If I had said what I really wanted to say to my cousin and caused a scene, it would upset my mom. But it upset my mom even when I told her privately. When cousin and her, and her son had gone to get a bathing suit somewhere or something, because it was, you know, because they were going, the, it was the family cookout. I was not attending, of course. And again, I'm saying this to my mom the same friggin' morning that I was I was so upset with her because I was concerned. She gets up six hours before they need to before the cookout even is and stumbles out of bed and goes and takes a shower. She knows she falls and she knows she's not even awake, hasn't had coffee, what nothing, and she broke our door and proceeds to still take a shower and could have fallen and smashed her head. But like Joe says, you do you're verbally abusive or whatever. You get upset out of concern or love and you're accused of being verbally abusive. You know, because my mom makes light of it, and when she makes light of something that I know 
is just like if you guys have kids, I, you know, that want to do whatever, play with fire, play with a knife, and you have to be firm with them. And if they make light of it, you're going to be frustrated because they're acting like your concerns just, you know, and that would be what my mom would do over legitimate things. Okay? Anyway, I'm going to go so I have at least a little bit of time at the library.